everyone this is david welcome back behind the velvet rope let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one the only miss sarah farasia david yantev david uh, how are you doing on Ozempic? Because uh, one of the most overwhelming, we get a lot of feedback. I'm obsessed with all your feedback, the good, the bad, the, I mean, by no means do I know it all. So please tell us your thoughts. People are so much smarter than I am that listen to this show. But one of the overwhelming feedback items that we got was people did think that you seem happier and lighter, not on Ozempic. Simultaneously, in the past two weeks, you've probably had more people than ever slide in your DMs and want your Ozempic hookup uh, or Manjaro. But how are you doing? I, I still want you to stay off it. I think you seem happier, smileier. You're, you're, you just seem like an overall, but overall joyous, joyous person now. Everyone is saying that it has nothing to do. First of all, I was off it for two weeks and then I started at a very low dose and then I increased it. I'm on my third increase now. What I'm at now is so much lower than what I was when I was sick 24 hours a day, but I am back on it. So me being happy has nothing to do with me being off Ozempic. Okay, this is what I think. This is you really want to know what I think. This is truly what I think. You want to know what I think? I think that last season of RHONJ, yeah, I think everybody went crazy. And I have an announcement about RHONJ at the end of this. Yeah. Everybody went crazy. I think Teresa Giudice went crazy. I mean, have you watched her on the reunion? I think Melissa Gorga went crazy. I think Louie went crazy. I think many web pages and bloggers went crazy. And I don't, I'm not insulting them because look, if your bag or your brand is to like only bring down the Gorgas or whatever, I listen, I support every business, but a lot of them went crazy. I think my good friend, Ms. Margaret Josephs went crazy. I think the fans and listeners went crazy. And do you know who also went crazy last season? You. Of Jay, me. I am not on the show. That is the big realization in like aha moment. We have aha moments in life. If you're a human being, you are a flip-flopper. You you take yes. what's in front of you and you analyze. You know what it is? Everyone's a hypocrite. I've learned that. About First of that. all, I, I don't, it's like I said, I stand by all that matters is in life is health. The second thing is, if it, the second thing is like, I feel that each person's thing in life. This is just me. I think a, you should not judge anybody ever. You want to go have group sex tonight with a whole, you know, like, I don't know, NBA team go for it, Sarah, go, go do what you want to do. do it. I don't care. I don't, I think everyone in life, your goal should be to not judge anybody and B it should be to know thyself. I don't think Shannon Bajor knows thyself. I know thyself. So what is my point? What is my, <laughs> so my point is I do not want to get, that's not my brand. I don't want to get in. If you want to pay me to be on the show, if you want to pay me to get in the middle of the drama. Now, look, I am not aligned to anyone. I will always report here when, you know, what I see when this one acts like a fool, I will call them out when that one acts like a, so I got too close to it. And unless you want to put $60,000 for the first year salary into my bank account, I don't care. So I, I I preach all of this, but yet I kind of wasn't practicing what I preached. So I did a self edit. The light bulb went on and I'm like, why the fuck do I care? I don't care about all these other franchises, this, this, this. And so I feel like I went a little crazy. And so this is how the show started. We built up this Behind the Velvet Rope to one of the leading Bravo podcasts in the history of Bravo podcasts, in the history. So I know amazing what you did i know and and prior to that you were a lawyer it, it, just, it is crazy your, your story yes it's amazing so why have i lost myself in caring guess what guess who wins in this scenario me because life is easy breezy baby i will always be here doing this job for you guys i'm not team anyone when melissa messy g and josephina act like fools trust me i will call them out i mean this past weekend someone even said on my patreon they're like you say you're no team but it seems like you're trashing melissa and joe i'm not a guest that attended their housewarming revealed all this stuff. And it wasn't so nice about Melissa and Joe. And they talked about Margaret and what happened between her and Jackie. And I'm like, this is just the tea, guys. So 
Yeah. So there you go. So that's, so it has nothing. That's a long or roundabout way to say me being light and breezy is just, so my point was, you know thyself. So I, but so, but so I like to, what I like to do is when I'm in a situation, I like to really focus on how I'm feeling and I'm happy now. Like I'm happy because like, I just don't care. So it has nothing to do with those empaths. I know Sarah Fraser. You would love to be the one who solves it all, and you would love to be on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. I did a case study on my co-host David, and he went crazy and was nasty when he was on Ozempic. And now that he is off Ozempic, he is happy like he used to be. Sarah, you're not getting your Nobel Peace Prize or your Pulitzer or whatever the fuck it's going to be for revealing this right now. Now look. I just saw Elise Slane, my good friend from Rona the other day. She tells me her her best friend or her good friend had to have out her gallbladder because of Ozempic. So I hear stories all the time about people that have had major operations and major, I'm on a very low dose and we're going to see how it goes. But your theory of me being happy and light and bright, it has to do with the fact that I'm not a cast member on New Jersey. Okay. And unless Bravo wants to give me $60,000, I ain't getting in the middle of it. I'm not paid enough. <laughs> By the way, although I'm paid a lot behind the velvet rope. So let me just tell you. Okay, go on. We got that in. Uh, <laughs> we got that in. Go on. Now that we're on sort of this New Jersey rant and, and terror, what do you make of all these headlines coming out over the weekend that Danielle Cabral slammed a glass, uh, you know, wine glass, it sounds like, against Jennifer Aiden's head? They're both right. being investigated by Bravo. Uh, apparently, I mean, there, there really isn't like a ton of information coming out about this and it's, it's in, I feel like it's not catching fire because we've been overwhelmed by the Shannon stuff, but a lot of people are saying, okay, now that NBC came out <clears throat> this past week and said that they are tightening, which I, I'm sure you read deadline had the article NBC Universal is going to tighten um, restrictions and workplace things for reality star. And those things, have, a big one is alcohol, that apparently everybody that works on these reality shows for NBC is going to have to go through alcohol training. Uh, they're going to have to go through, they, they had a psychologist. Did you even realize this? This was an interesting article. NBC has everyone that is on their reality shows go through a psychological evaluation. Okay, and they're offered some form of therapy if they want it. Now they're getting exit therapy. But I mean, are you telling me all these people pass a psychological evaluation? I mean, give me a break. This is like so crazy. But, you know, the, and, and the NDAs have been loosened. If there is any sort of form of sexual abuse or alcohol abuse or people pushing alcohol on you, you have the right to report that. Okay, so now people are saying with this Danielle Cabral and Jennifer Aiden situation, like if it, if true, if, big if, if true, Danielle's going to be fired, right? I mean, because this is this is like alcohol in, you know, not safe, uh, you know. Wait, wait, wait. I have something else to say. I know. I always have something else to say. But listen, you guys know I've been having a lot of digestive issues lately. I've shared that with all of you throughout the past few weeks. I share a lot with you guys. But you know what I didn't know? I didn't know that these digestive issues were caused by potential toxins that are in these quote unquote, healthy foods. I thought I was eating right. Oh my gosh. I have learned so much. We've been hearing about, you know, these healthy foods for years, right? Well, this potential toxin causes digestive issues, according to Dr. Gundry. He's a world's renowned cardiologist and the harmful condition is affecting millions of people nationwide. It was affecting me. Now, here's the thing. There's so many warning signs that I now saw that I didn't realize weight gain, hello. I mean, that's all I talk about with you guys. Fatigue, digestive discomfort, stiff joints. I've even had skin problems. And you know, listen, I'm not a spring chicken. So I just personally thought that all these things were happening because I was getting older. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging. Now I know. So listen, I can assure you that the damage is probably caused by these healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you can easily help fix the problem from your own home. It's very simple. You just have to know which foods are actually healthy and which contain this hidden potential toxin. It's that simple. So you can find this for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. That's gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. You can just click on the link in the description below this video 
because after years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release an informative video to the public free. It's free and uninterrupted. You guys have to watch this, showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid. Go to the video, gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I know this is reality TV, but this really, really has changed my life. Click on the link below. Bye.